Okay, the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to slip off our marker at the beginning of our round and we're going to slip half of the stitches off of one off our one needle onto a holding needle while we do the heel flap. And we're just slipping going to side them onto the next needle one at a time or you can use a stitch holder. Either one will work properly. Let's get going on that. All right, I'm sliding the stitches off purlwise, just slipping them straight across from the needle that's in the circle that we've been knitting on to a new needle that's going to hold half of the 56 stitches, which is going to be 28. So be sure and count your stitches. It's real important that you're only working on 28 stitches at a time while we're doing the heel. And as soon as I get them all together, we're going to start doing the heel flap. All right, I've slipped the stitches from the needle onto my stitch holder just for this uh, process so you can see it a little bit better, but I really usually keep them on my needle. And I've knitted a few rows here. So when you have 28 stitches and you're working on your heel flap, you're going to have 28 rows. So let me show you how the pattern goes. Straighten my yarn. All right. We're going to slip the first stitch as to slide as if to purl. Be sure your yarn is behind you because we're knitting. So it's a slip. Then the next stitch is going to be knitted and slip to the right needle. So we're going to slip a stitch and knit a stitch slip, knit. Oops, got out of my fingers there. There you go. And this is our right side row. This is what we do when the knitted side is facing us. Sorry. Knit. And if you lose where you are, if you pull to see where your string is, then you'll know that if this one's knitted, the next one's a slip. It's not difficult. We're coming to the end now, and the last stitch should be knitted. That's how you know you got them all in the right place. And here we go. There's a slip, and the last one's knitted. Now remember, we're working back and forth on our circular now. So turn your needle, and you're looking at your purl side. It makes this cute little design. This reinforces your heel and helps your yarn to wear longer for your heel. So this is the purl side. Bring your needle to the front, excuse me, around the back. And this one is very similar. We're gonna slip the first stitch, but the rest of the row, all of these stitches on the purl side, as soon as I get my needle there, are going to be purled. I've got a little piece of string there, hang on. Now, they're going to be tricky because the slip stitches from the other side are going to be rolling to the back. Here we go. Open my hands and you'll see it. See it right there? It's behind the thread. So kind of pick it up, purl it. And then the one that was knitted is right there. And we purl it. So you're purling all the way across these 28 stitches. Just hold them in your fingers. Don't let them get away from you.
And remember, we're going to do this for 28 rows on this sock that requires 58 stitches, 56 stitches, excuse me. So each size of a sock has different numbers. And so you have to stay in those parameters. A few more here. All right, and now we're going to turn again and go to the knit side. There you go. See the pattern emerge. And you do this for 28 rows, and then you finished your heel flap. And we're ready to turn the heel. And we're going to do that next. <laughs> 